The Florida Geological Survey collaborates with both federal and state and local partners and the private sector and academia to maximize our resources so that the geologic research that we undertake meets the needs of the citizens of the state of Florida. The Florida Geological Survey prioritizes our research mission basically through the needs of our customers, so the things that the citizens of the state of Florida need. They include things like mapping geologic resources, so Florida is a top 10 mineral producing state and it is our job to go out and make sure that we know where all those mineral resources exist. We also do a lot of geohazard research, so Florida is well known for its karst environment and in, when you live in a karst environment you oftentimes deal with things like sinkholes and groundwater vulnerability to contamination. We also live in a state that doesn't have a lot of topography. In fact, we've got the lowest high point of any of the 50 states. Because we have such low topography and we have a huge long coastline, you can imagine that there are all kinds of hazards related to sea level rise and the impacts of storms on our coastline. So we try to do a lot of research geared towards helping to mitigate the potential impacts of geohazards like storms and sinkholes. We are currently at Wakulla Springs inside Wakulla Springs State Park. One of the reasons why this spring is special is because its vent actually enters um, one of the longest mapped cave systems in, in the world and the longest mapped cave system in the United States. The Applied Geoscience Service section provides support and our major focuses are typically rooted in the surface, subsurface, ground, water, and rock interactions. Because of the various requests that we respond to, um, it's really important to us to be well versed in all things geology and hydrogeology. So we are continuously trying to improve and hone our skill sets. We actually go as far as to cross train some of our staff so that we can actually operate autonomously and not only in silo ourselves into water related projects. Florida has upwards of 3,000 feet of limestone beneath it covered by a variable thickness of sands and clays. That limestone is susceptible to dissolution, and through that dissolution, we have our karst topography. This karst topography is comprised of sinkholes, springs, and many cave systems that are subsurface and at the surface. Karst aquifers are among the most productive aquifers in the world. They can move a lot of water in very brief, short periods of distances and long distances. And because they move so much water, they're diff often difficult to manage and also very susceptible to contamination. Conducting our work through the Florida Geologic Survey helps us understand our karst environment. Doing our superficial geologic mapping helps us identify these sensitive karst features and these features which may be geohazards. Investing in that geologic mapping is highly important for the future of Florida. It will help us better understand where people can live, when, where they can live safely, and how we can make our vulnerable water resources last for our lifetimes. I grew up loving the springs and rivers of Florida. As a geoscientist, I now understand how fragile these systems are and how easily uh, they can be contaminated. So outreach is an opportunity to share both the beauty of these systems and also the importance of preserving our natural resources. Our museum is specimen rich and space limited, so we had to be very deliberate in our design. Our main message is that geology is inspiring, understandable, and essential to our daily lives. We wanted to share with everyone that comes in the beauty of our springs and our caves, our sinkholes. We wanted to share our spectacular calcite formations. And we also wanted them to understand what geoscience is and why we do geoscience. We love geology and we think it's spectacular. <laughs>